Welcome to UGA Sports Rewind. I'm Patrick Garbin. This is my co-host, Dave McMahon. We are writers, researchers, and historians for UGASports.com of the Rivals Network. Today, we're joined with Jeremy Thomas, a uh, standout fullback for Georgia from 2002 through 2004. Sounds uh, great. All right. Uh, <laughs> we are here at uh, Classic City Eats in Watkinsville, specifically back here in their golf simulator room, which is, I always say, extraordinary, but it, it, it truly is. But, uh, Dave, we're not here to talk about golf or we're here to talk about a little clean old-fashioned hate yeah we're not here to talk about golf um, we're here to talk football obviously um, right. I mean Georgia fans some of them may hate Florida more some may hate Auburn more some may hate Tennessee more but one thing's for sure they all hate tech I mean tech is tech is tech and we Georgia fans don't want anything to deal with them um, so yeah we're gonna hear we're gonna hear watch the 2003 Georgia Georgia Tech game uh, it's pretty exciting Jeremy Thomas had a really big game in that one and we're gonna enjoy it uh, Jeremy let's go back a little right. bit a little okay. over 20 years you uh, from uh, Loganville about an hour or so from here coming out of Loganville Logan High, High School, School. You t your road to Georgia's a little unconventional than um, others, I guess, because you yeah. took a little pit stop somewhere right. else. D explain that from Loganville to, to yeah to the Air Force Academy. But if we want to go back a little more, so in high school, I mean, I know I look really tall and athletic and look like I have a lot of speed, right? But clearly not the um, tallest, um, not the fastest around. So um, wasn't recruited super heavily. So actually, um, coming to high school, I had an, my two main offers were Penn and the Ivy League, which is pretty cool, yeah. pretty smart. Love you, mom. And um, so that was important. And then the Air Force and decided to go to the Air Force because, I mean, service academies are unbelievable. If you've been to Colorado Springs, phenomenal. I mean, the education um, up there with Ivy League, Northwestern, Duke, you know, that kind of deal. So got a chance to play D1 football and get a good education. Um, so, yeah, I started out at the Air Force Academy. Um, one of the main reasons I went to by a guy by the name of Richard Bell, if y'all know that name, um, former national defensive coordinator yep. at Georgia. That's a while right. Back. Mm -hmm. While back, um, was he DC at Georgia? That makes sense. Right. I think so. Yeah, yeah. And um, head coach at South Carolina for a year, mm -hmm. um, and was the D coordinator at Air Force. Phenomenal human being. If you remember when he retired, he coached at Prince Prince Avenue yep. a little bit. That's right. That's right. Um, great man. But anyway, Richard got me out to the academy and um, was pretty cool. Little different than traditional college life. <laughs> so so when I got done with high school, man, my first in college was boot camp like June after I graduated I'm in boot camp you're not that partying like with your dorm friends no. or <laughs> there's no keg stand <laughs> but it was funny some of the guys and buddies I met from Cali I mean you're sitting they're running you through like you get off the buses you're standing on your dot like they are chewing you down you're like bro what did I do mm -hmm. right but um pretty cool man they process you get you in shave everybody's head get you in the fatigues and six weeks of boot camp so we were um in the dorms for six weeks right and then you know they're coming in the morning hollering you know playing the, 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 like 5 a.m to wake everybody <laughs> up and then three weeks um kind of out in the bush where you're in the tents and pretty wild man wow really yeah. cool stuff yeah. a lot different than than yeah yeah a lot different than athens but um like i said man great school um academically i remember my first semester in college we had like 17 hours i was telling dave before we started the guy that taught my chemistry class was for real going to be an astronaut you know what i mean like, yeah. these are like brilliant people uh -huh. right and um but like I said, the teamwork, the kind of people you're around, you know, I had a roommate that was from Georgia, one that was from um, Hawaii, you know, I met a lot of interesting folks, man. It just, um, and I love the military, love the service academies, it was a great place to be, but I just decided long term, you know, I didn't want to really do that as my career, and I um, just kind of wanted a little different experience for college, you know, so out there, you can't even, you could, at that time, you couldn't leave the um, leave the base during the week until you were a senior. Oh. You couldn't have a car until you were a junior. Wow. So it's a little yeah, different. Man. You're not really heading downtown to Flanagan. Yeah. You know, like, you don't work back there. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So yeah, man, decided to come back to Georgia. Um, one of my best friends in the world, Terry Milhouse, who was my high school guidance counselor, um, actually graduated from Georgia, but huge tech fan. Talking about Georgia mm -hmm. Tech Week. She, um, so luckily, you know, mama stayed on us in high school, so I had good grades in high school and things like that. So, um, 
she was able to help me fill out my paperwork and get into Georgia, you know, just academically, right? So I applied while I was at Air Force, had that whole first semester, played ball the first semester, had some cool experiences, and then, you know, transferred back. So Terry helped me do all my stuff. And right before we did the paperwork for Georgia, she was like, now you sure you don't want me to send it to Tech too? Nah. Think, Let's just send it to Georgia. And Loganville, I mean, man, it's 35 minutes from the house. My mm-hmm. mom's close by. You know, and then um, as far as getting on the team, I mean, Georgia didn't recruit me. You know, I went to like a junior day, I think. I mean, that, and you know, Loganville back then, man, there wasn't nothing in Loganville, Dairy Queen, yeah. Waffle House. UGA <laughs> might as well have been a thousand miles away. You know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. it was a good school. I knew they had a good ball team. And dude, I just walked in off the street, man. I, I bumped into Will Thompson. Mm-hmm. You remember played the yeah, defensive yep, end? Yep, yep. Phenomenal guy. He played in the Georgia Florida All Star game with us at a high school, so I knew those guys. Northside Warner, Warner Robbins mm-hmm. ran into Will and uh, was planning on walking on anyway. And Will was like, "Dude, come over to the facility, meet Coach Teresinski, mm-hmm. who was the walk on coach." Yep, yep. Joe's had like seven thousand jobs at Georgia. Yeah. Between walk-on strength coach, jobs and everything. Yeah. yeah, strength coach, phenomenal guy. Went and met with Coach T. And he was like, yeah, man, come on out. So I came out. I got to Georgia right when Coach Rick did, basically. Oh, January one. of 01. Mm-hmm. That's right. It bumped into John Fabris, who recruited my best buddy growing up, who played at South Carolina. So Fab knew me. So we chit-chatted that first day. And, um, yeah, man, that's it. Pretty crazy, right? Walked yeah. in off the street. Yeah. I mean, Georgia didn't have it. You know, you could have walked in there. Dave could I mean, the same thing. You know, yeah. just walked in off the street, which is pretty cool. Describe your, what was your first meeting like with Mark Richt, and what, um, how, how often do you still talk to the man? I mean, he was honored a few weeks ago at the um, at Sanford Stadium. Well, as far as my first ever time meeting Coach Rick, man, I don't even remember. I mean, he probably had no idea who I was. <laughs> the short guy with the Thomas on his helmet you, you know he probably yeah. had no idea but um, listen man him getting honored I mean what a phenomenal human being one right like I've, I've witnessed firsthand a lot of things he's done you know since I got done playing to help people guys that th- things that the media or people will never know right that he's done behind the scenes um, to help guys and you know he is who he says he is um, he cares about people and he was heck of a ball coach too right like yeah. um, just because he's not the most boisterous guy in the world but he, he chews somebody's ass now yeah. and he's he chew your ass <laughs> Yeah, he, he has chewed mine a bunch of times, deservedly so. Let's just, we can say that. But, yeah, you know, fullbacks, we tend to be a little, um, you know, a little intense. And, you know, we're nice guys off the field. But, hey, man, you're supposed to be a tough guy, right? They say it's what, the tougher guys are in the, or the more physical guys are in the middle. And as you extend out, you know, you can be less physical, right? But that's, to me, the fullback linebacker collision, that's one of the most intense, right? So, Needless to say, I've had my share of personal fouls, practice incidents. <laughs> yeah, Coach, Coach Rick has had to keep me in line many times. <laughs> and for all those don't, don't know, a fullback, it, it, they're not around too much anymore, but it's a combination of a punisher and blocker, protector, right. catch, uh, ball receiver, runner, a little bit of everything. And that's what you did. Normally exceedingly handsome. <laughs> no, yeah, of course. That's of right. Course. Um, you know, we're normally short and stocky. We're not known for our height, right? So, you know, when I played, I was probably, um, I was 5'11 and three quarters, just so okay. we're, you know. Now I've gotten older and fatter, so it's, and I was probably, I played anywhere from 235 to 255, which is pretty thick. Um, wasn't real fast, but um, was better when I was a little lighter, right? Because you move a little better. Yeah. But yeah, man, you're basically like a baby O lineman, right? But with good hands and can run a little bit. Now, some of us were better runners than others. You know, I was never a great runner, good receiver, you know, excellent blocker. Like, Sutherland was a really good runner, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, you know, very good. Um, so, you know, you got, you know, all shapes and sizes, but, you know, kind of a badge and honor. You pride yourself on being a tough guy. And, you know, like I said, I think, the, like I said, mentioned before, the fullback linebacker collision, one of the biggest collisions in football, besides the kickoff, you know, running 100 yards at each other. And then... The safeties get to cheat a little bit because they always get to hit defenseless guys coming across, right? Like the fullback linebacker, I mean, when you're running ISO, that's eyeballing each other up. Yeah. And, you know, pretty intense deal. Yeah. So so you lettered in 02 on the uh, SEC championship. That's right. Team. So came back from shoulder surgery in the spring and um, started playing that year um, and was pretty cool, you know, backing up JT and, you know, playing a ton of special teams. Even though I'm not very fast, I played on kickoff team because mm-hmm. I stayed in my lane, turned it back in. So that was cool. Played a lot of special teams, backed up JT, played a bunch in the SEC championship game because if you remember against Arkansas, yep. um, we got into some special formation where we would actually run two fullbacks. So it would be like JT, myself, and Musa just to get them lined up a certain way, right? Okay. Ran the ball a bunch that game. But, um, 
Yeah, you know, um, one of my good buddies, Braxton Snyder, played fullback that year as well. And sadly, you know, Braxton getting hurt kind of opened the door for me to come in and start to play. I hate that for Brax too, man, because he was a great player, tough guy, walk on. Another bald guy. Yeah, bald guy, great. He <laughs> has, you know, much better looking head than me. He's His is even, you know, more symmetrical. But, you know, Braxton had a great career, you know, was really doing well that year. And then, unfortunately, an injury, mm -hmm. you know, which is how it works sometimes. And then the next guy up, right? Yeah. Um, but Brax, uh, he's doing he, – Brax has done very well. Married a beautiful girl from Georgia and a lot of kids. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, man. good. Yeah. Oh, 03, I think uh, the game before this against Kentucky, you rushed for your first – Touchdown oh, as gosh. a Bulldog. I guess. That yeah. sounds right. That okay. good. Yeah. So this this leads us to this game, the Georgia Tech game. Okay. In fact, let's let's rewind the calendar back to November 29th, okay. 2003. Georgia is 9-2, and two, uh, ranked fifth in the country in the AP poll, taking on Tech, who is 6-5. and five. Georgia's an 8.5-point favorite, by the way. One thing about this game that was kind of interesting – it, Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee had already, or would, in Tennessee's case, have a six and two record or three-way tie in the, the SEC. Yeah, yeah. Um, one and one against one another, head to head. Earlier that month, the SEC uh, determined that based on the BCS rankings would be the criteria for breaking that three-way tie. So although Georgia's SEC slate is over leading into this, this game was pretty important because if you lose this you're likely not going to the SEC championship. No doubt. Yeah, and that was a big deal. And man, we let, you know, let we let those two slip away in the year. It was tough, man. You know, down at LSU, yeah. who we ended up playing in the SEC championship game, man, we had them beat. And you know, mm -hmm. they got us right there at the end. And then Florida was neck and neck. I think they beat us by three. Yep. I mean, we That's were cool. just we were a a point or two away from having no losses, right? Yeah. So but yeah, a little good fortune to get us back in the title game. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, man, important game. Yeah. End of the season, yeah. it's always important when you play Tech. Well, let's uh, let's watch the tape and look at the 2003 Georgia Georgia Tech game. A little clean old-fashioned hate, and the fans are certainly hating each other right there. Early in the game. Reggie Ball, everyone's favorite Tech player. And uh, David Pollock in the right place at the right time. That was uh, Pollock's fourth of what would be four career interceptions at Georgia. One of the baddest dudes of all time. I mean, only other three-time All-American besides Herschel. And look, never got the credit he deserved for being the type of athlete he was either, you know. Okay. Um, you, you go back and, you know, look at his shuttle time that he put in at the Combine. I mean, just a machine, man. And the production, right? With just some unmatched production, man. Was that, was that Ken Veal who made the Oh, question? Big Pooh. Yep. Yeah. Cedartown, Georgia, man. Yep. He had the Winnie the Pooh tat on his yep. arm, man. <laughs> Pooh's the man, man. Great guy. See Gerald Anderson in there, 92. Yep. Some biggins on the line. Yeah, a lot of beef up there, man. All right. Georgia's, Georgia has the ball early now after the turnover, and not good right now. They, we turn, Georgia turns off the ball right back. Yeah, it was Michael Cooper throwing in the ball. Sorry, Coop. We love you, man. Hey, everybody fumbles, right? <laughs> right? They had to show the fumble, man. Jeez so, Louise. So this is a little bit of, hey, both sides are tr struggling to get the um, stuff going offensively. That's right. Trying to get going a little bit. Yeah. Big G making the tackle. Ware County, Waycross, he um, actually from the same hometown as Fred Gibson. There you go. That's right. I yeah, think this defense, I mean, we haven't even got to Odell Thurman yet or Sean, Sean Jones, Jones, Thomas Davis. Greg Blue was a reserve. Um, oh, yeah, there's there's Sean making a play right there. But, yeah, I mean, you, um, you look back and look, the defense this year is unbelievable, right? Mm -hmm. But you're talking about Sean Jones, Odell Thurman, Thomas Davis, Greg Blue, David Pollock. Some bad boys, Bruce yeah. Thornton, Tony um, Taylor, was Tony Taylor, linebacker. you know, phenomenal linebacker and special teams player, and you know, so people forget now. There's some other boys that have played defense at Georgia before these guys. <laughs> this year, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but no, this this you know, defense this year is unbelievable. Not to take anything away from him, right? But sure. you know, it's always the new stuff is the coolest stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? This dude right here, man, Sean Jones made so many plays in his career, played in the league forever. That kind of size and ball skills too. Being a former quarterback playing safety, you just don't see a whole lot. All right, here we go. 41 in the backfield. Look at that great body. Nice stance. Yeah. 
And I, I remember this play would happen a couple times a year, kind of oh, yeah. during the early in the uh, like that fake. Pretty cool. Ice water in his veins, man. Yeah. David Green, one of the coolest customers ever, um, and just a great guy. Yeah. Married his high school sweetheart, Veronica, doing insurance. Just life is good, man. David is a great dude, man. And I mean, that takes a little bit of sand yeah, to that, walk. That, I that mean, play always scared me. Because <laughs> you, you're either going to get destroyed or it's a touchdown. Oh, you know, I remember right. David, he hit Terrence Edwards on a bunch of those back in the day. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And Fred made a great catch now, right after that. Nice little run. Nice little Ron. That's uh, that's Lumpkin, I think. Yep. Yeah. Before he changed his number. Yep, Craig Lumpkin, man. Yeah, Craig was a great player. Um, obviously, um, Stevenson High, which which was um, Reggie Ball was at high school of Reggie Ball. That's right, man. So you get a little of the Georgia Georgia Tech. Everybody knows each other, man. In this season, were there any other? Because generally Georgia would have maybe two fullbacks. There. Besides yep. you, was there another? Oh yeah, um, Jamario Smith, great player, okay. went to Mary Persons. Um, Des Williams out of yep. Decula. Right. Yep. Yeah, man, we always had a lot of cool guys but, playing fullback. But forty one made some good blocks here for the. I appreciate that. Appreciate you finding a highlight oh, in my two. entire career. Yeah, That's right. right. You there. know, got a couple. You, sometimes it doesn't have to be devastating, right? You just get in the way, man. <laughs> That's right. And then later on in the game, Green gets the ball, he fumbles it in the red zone, and then Nick Jones in the right place Nick at the right Jones. time. Nick Jones, you see big Max Gene in there. And um, listen, Nick, you know, a bit of an undersized center, unbelievable player. I think he was all SEC a couple years. Great guy, great player, too. And right place, right time, right? Hey, uh, Russ Tanner it's all, right yeah. there. It's always special when an offensive lineman gets a touchdown. It's a big deal, man. Yeah. This would be the first of four starts Reggie Ball had yep. against Georgia, and he'd mm. go, uh, unfortunately for Reggie, 0-4. So uh, who was that there? We had Pollock on the tackle. Was that Pollock and Odell on the Odell. tackle? Yeah, Odell Thurman and uh, Reggie Ball were kind of jawing at one another throughout this game. There was something going on there. Oh, my gosh. And people, yeah, talk about Odell. I mean, the speed, the power, covering that ground, coming from the linebacker position. I mean, he's one of the best to do it around here, man. And then here's something that a lot of Georgia fans see this year with a little pressure on the, um, the punter, punting unit. Bam. That's Brian McClendon there who would uh, be Georgia's head coach for one game. Oh, man, and Brian's done a great job. What a cool career for him, right? Like yeah. what he's done in the collegiate ranks. and Excellent player, man. Good hands. And I um, thought I thought it was a penalty on Georgia, but this was a penalty on Georgia Tech. And, and finally, Penn Wagers cho chooses um, something for us. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Nice play by B-Back for sure, though. Like to come through clean like that. Martrez Milner right there, 87. You see Thomas in there. there. All right, here we go. Look at that, wide open. Mm. Nice. Bam. Craig was an excellent player, man. Um, yeah. You know, to be a freshman, too, and doing what he did. You see him, great body, though, real smooth runner, excellent hands. Could have been probably one of the all time greatest at Georgia, if not. For not only the stable of backs he played with, but injuries too. Injuries. You know, kind of wiped out his senior year in 07. Oh, yes. I think but ACLs, right? But still played in the NFL for a while. Yep. I mean, Craig was a great yep. player. And then, then there's Harry. Oh. <laughs> that, that's similar to Dave McMahon's dad. That, that, he, 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 he might have learned from me. <laughs> that's right. Dave's in a little better shape, but yeah, you know, <laughs> that's right. And Ooh. then defense just crushes Reggie yeah. Ball right oh, there. Yeah, you see Sean, Jones Odell. And, uh, that's right, man. Those, those are two guys I don't want to get hit by. Oh, man. They can play. And the speed we had on D, too. You know, it's just unbelievable. But, you know, to talk about Sean for a minute, you know, people forget just all the things. Even when we broke through when I was a sophomore and we finally won the SEC that year, the first time since the 80s, Sean had an unbelievable game that game. Yeah. I think returning kicks. I mean, Michael Johnson had all the huge catches. and But you look at some of the things Sean did on defense. and Pretty impressive, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's up there. A right, little field goal attempt right mm -hmm. here. Getting on the board, man. Yeah, text on the board. Grant Field's a good place to go see a game, though, man. You know, it really is. There's good always, seat, there's always seats available. <laughs> <laughs> there's your, it's generally hey, Georgia, Georgia crowds. Usually. Jesus, cold-blooded <laughs> in here. Cold-blooded. All right, we got the very short, stocky Jeremy Thomas in at fullback again. And there you say. Oh, look at the reception, man. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Got a couple of yards. Hey. Out. There's Kieran right there. Great guy making the tackle. You wind up catching several like five catches i think you want to bleed in the team for this game which is crazy right which is which is about as many as you had coming into the That's game right. for the season i mean do you remember was there anything in the 
game plan that like hey we're going to get the ball the full back or what was well you know it was interesting yeah I had a couple catches coming in and then this game and then the um, when we went to the bowl game and beat Purdue in the Capital One game yep. I had like five yep. right? right so you know I remember Coach Rick talks to me before the game he's like hey man be ready because we're going to go to you today you know what I'm saying so I think they just probably saw something where it felt like we could slip the fullback and you know we were so ISO heavy and run 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 and hey play action works for a reason right and yeah. then <laughs> people aren't really game planning like 41 has got a lot of speed. At the pool. We better be, you know, watching for him to catch the ball, right? Yeah. Hey, man, sometimes you just dump it to the back, and you're all right, right? Keep yeah. the chains moving. So, you know, I know it's hard to believe, but I did have excellent hands. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's hard to believe, man. But uh, And look, Damian Gary, and phenomenal player. A little bit faster. A huh? little bit. Looks a little better catching it. And, you know, talk about Damian, you know, who coached college for a while. He's coaching at Clark Central now here. And I mean, what a great guy. Some of the best hands George has ever had. Great punt returner. Probably mm-hmm. still holds some records yep. there. I don't think Damian ever got the credit for the kind of player he was, right? Um, just a phenomenal player. He always made that first guy miss in the um, in oh, punt return. So quick. So quick. More And was straight line fast, too, but almost quick side to side as he was straight line. You know, Damian's mm-hmm. an unbelievable player. Clark Central long, man. Oh, nice. Little cut block right there. There's Cooper. There's yeah. Coop. Good player. Screven County, yeah. Georgia, Sylvania. Yep. Coop is a big, strong joker, too, man. Yeah. Good guy. He led Georgia in rushing this year. So right. Oh, look at the oh, cutback. Look at the cutback. Look at that. Oh, please. Fight for that yard. Hopefully there's a replay, Dave. Mom, I hope you're watching. Look at the look at the speed right here. Right. Like a young Nick Chubb right here. This <laughs> man. Man. Little cut right there. And then look. Boom. See, this is dumb. The older you get, if you just keep it backside, you might go score. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you actually find a guy to hit. Probably not the smartest move, but I don't know. Playing fullback, man, that's just kind of how you're wired. Look at the old school trace elbow pads I'm wearing, too. Dude. I can get you an autographed pair, man. I think I still got some. There we go. Pretty crazy, right? If you had a little bit more speed, you could get right up. That's what I'm saying. Well, at least run to the other guy. Oh, maybe, you're, you're aiming for him, aren't you? Yeah, and then move that way, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe lateral it to green. You saw green right there. Unfortunately, the drive stopped, but Billy Bent was here. Listen, man, Billy is about as automatic as anybody you ever had in the history of Georgia. I mean, he was the, wasn't he the points leader for yeah. a couple years? Yeah, this season, he had 31 made field goals, which is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Look, Billy's a local kid, Athens Academy. Yeah. Cool dude, too, man. Got yeah. a lot of swag, plays the guitar. Um, yeah, he was in a band for a while. And see, I was always on field goal team, so I was kind of the wing, right? And I remember one time... Like, because Billy and I, we would always, we would peel off after he made one and do a little chest bump after he made every field goal. But one time I made the mistake of saying something to him before he kicked, right? Because you kind of let the kicker just do his thing. And I was like, hey, Billy, you got it, bro. He didn't say anything at the time, but I remember when we got back to sidelines, he was like, hey, bro, don't ever talk to me before we kick. Oh, really? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, Billy, you know what? My bad, man. That's respect. <laughs> you know? yeah. Dude, best guy. But, you know, he would get in that mindset. And, dude, he was lethal, man. Like, you yeah. go back and look at his percentages. Yeah. Like, but the coolest dude ever, man. Odell running out there. Um, you got Cumo. Then, um, then he Let's fumbled. There's Thomas. He, That's right. He made like he broke like five tackles. Arnold and then Harrison he gets to his own man and fumbles. Look yeah. at that defense though. Yep. Tim Jennings, 23. I mean, what a Tim played in the league forever. Yep. Unbelievable athlete. One of the fastest guys. I think he's Orangeburg, South Carolina. I think right. Yep. That's what Tim was for. Um, yeah, Reg, Reggie beats all the Georgia guys, but can't beat the Georgia Tech guy. <laughs> yeah, he took it. Hey, we appreciate that. Whoever 89. Yeah, those turnovers are always big, man. It's a big guy, though. Big yeah. kid, man. Oh, look at the little juke to get open. Did you guys see yeah, that? Yeah, we saw it. Ooh. Look at that, man. Daryl with the nice tackle. Got a couple yards after contact. Yeah, and, and seriously, you always seem to be, like, fighting at the end for oh, yeah, whatever, whatever few, always, few always. more inches. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't have a lot of length, so I can't really reach it, right? <laughs> so you got to just try to fall down. Yeah. But, man, um, talking about Daryl and Kinnear, though, like, so it was pretty cool in high school. Obviously, we talked about it earlier, the Georgia-Florida game, the old high school All-Star game, yep. right, which is an awesome deal. And I was one of the last ads to that team, trust me, being not being heavily recruited, but was fortunate enough to be in the game in 2000. And it was funny, all things come full circle. So David Green was in that game, Ronnie Brown, the great running back at Auburn. And um, funny enough, Daryl and Kinnearan, both for the Georgia team, and we were the starting linebackers um, during that game for the Georgia All-Star game. Georgia-Florida All-Star game in high school. Pretty crazy. Yeah. You know. So in high school, you were fullback, middle and linebacker. You were long snapper, long snapper too, right? I yeah. appreciate it. You read my bio. I man. did. Thank you. You're the only one that's ever read it. I, I'm glad. You and my mom have both read it. But So, yeah, man, what, how cool is that? So I was the middle line. I think I was middle or I can't remember. But we were the starting linebackers, and then we're playing against each other. They're starting linebackers for Tech, and I'm at fullback. 
Yeah. Which is crazy, yeah. man. So, but dude, great guys, and dude, they both played in the league forever. I think Daryl might have played like friggin' thirteen years. I mean, crazy. Oh, Pollock yeah, jumping Pollock off Joe. right there. Is that Pollock? I guess Pollock. Ball had some athleticism, though, he, man. He, he can run, man. Yeah. Tough kid, too, right? Yeah. Got some speed going. Yeah, he can, he can play, man. Thick little joker. Kind of looks like a running back out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Good body on him. So, dogs by two touchdowns here. Getting close to halftime. And there's nah, that I couldn't get away that time. Yep. So, who was that? Sean and Tony Taylor, I think, that got him. Another local product in Tony Taylor. Oh, man, Tony was a phenomenal athlete. You know, actually, um, soccer guy in high school, too, as well as football. Played goalie. Um, man, Tony, you're talking about being smooth. Fab used to show, um, he used to show teach tape of Tony doing um, doing kickoff and dodging guys to get to the ball carrier. I mean, unbelievable player. Huh. Oh, man, good run by him. Yeah. Might have had a hold on Thomas out there, man. That, I don't know. This Now, Harris Patel. That, is the oh, athletic, yeah, man. This is that moment where. Oh, yeah, here, we'll the, let her run. And it's a penalty. It draws a penalty. Yeah, it draws a penalty because like, Reggie does a little Harris shove on him. Harris is trying him. to get out of the way, man. And then. Like, bro, you trying to fight Harris like the nicest dude ever, man. And that's, I think that's Mixon Robinson, the doctor there. Right oh, behind is him. that? Yeah. Is that who that is? And there's Dr. Elliot. You remember Dr. Elliot? But listen, Harris Patel, phenomenal dude. One of the best trainers yeah. ever. One of the top stretchers ever. If you could ever get Harris to stretch you, he's an unbelievable <laughs> wow. guy, man. I don't All know right. if I've ever seen that, though. Isn't that like funny? With a player and, and a guy on staff. Like, bro, are you trying to fight a trainer, man? I mean, what's going on? Oh, oh, and then, catches the tip. Look at the speed. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to have, you know, maybe I'll have some kids one day and they can watch this. And I'll be like, guys, I used to be cool. Man. <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. Dude, play action works for a reason. Did you see the spin out right yep. there, Patrick? Did you see the yeah, spin out of that? I saw it. Look at the speed, Look man. You spin a like couple a of times ball. before it you, only, you almost can't even see me, it's so fast. Now, I have trouble getting off the ground, right? Look like a turtle, but. <laughs> got the wristbands looking cool on there, man. I like that face mask. Too. Yeah, nice, right? Sadly, kicking another field goal, but luckily. You know, I mean, dude, I, I was thinking when I watched this, I was like, I don't know if Billy ever missed a field goal. <laughs> Not many. Mm -hmm. yeah, two years earlier at the stadium, didn't he go, go six for six or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Sadly, right? We need to be getting more touchdowns exactly. probably, but uh, Billy's unbelievable, man. Reggie Ball left the game. Um, Georgia destroyed him too much, but Sug oh, nice. Suggs is into the game, and he throws a pick. Look at that. Nice pick, TD. Look at that. The athleticism on this guy, man, and the physicality. I mean, you look at Thomas like a running back, cutting it all the way across. And, um, you know, it's interesting. I remember um, Brian Van Gorner telling a story about recruiting Thomas. You know, he's from Shelman down there in Randolph County. And, um, you know, their basketball team was unbelievable. He was like the sixth man. Can you believe that? that really? Thomas Davis was not starting on his basketball. <laughs> but, you just, but, I mean, they had some unbelievable kids. But, I mean, look, that guy. To do what he did in the NFL after all those oh, knee yeah. surgeries, he played for like a thousand years and was still productive. And it was the NFL yeah. man of the year. That's right. And was as productive as anyone. I mean, you're talking about hard work, tough. I mean, that, played that's in the, the Super guy. Bowl, played in the Super Bowl. But you look at you look at those guys we had on defense, right? So, Thomas, great play for him, man. Yeah. Cool deal. It's funny those great players tend to always be in the right spot, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You see Bruce Thornton right there, number seven, yeah. former running back too. Bruce was a great player for us. All right, here we go. Got the tight end in Ben Watson at tight end. Excellent player for Georgia. Had a phenomenal career. Here we go. Got Fred, Fred Gibson. Gibson. Yep. Waycross product. Oh, got stuff to the one. Um, unbelievable receiver. Um, great speed, man. Real smooth. Tall kid, too. Fred about 6'4", maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Played basketball. Good guy. Man. We had, yeah, yeah, played basketball. Yeah, we had him and Reggie Brown. Reggie, unbelievable receiver. So what do you do great at the one-yard line? What do you Gosh, you give it to the best looking back in the backfield, man. <laughs> there look you at go. that. Oh, it did, look, it did look real tough, but I think we got in, yeah, man. <laughs> Late call. But look at yes. big Max Jean right there, 74. My gosh, that was a grown man. <laughs> Josh Brock up front, Russ Tanner, Dan Inman, Dennis Rowland. We had some big boys, man. Yep. A lot of size up there. Pretty cool to get a touchdown, though, yeah, right? Yeah. Fullback, man, look, I always get in a cool block or doing your job. You know, that was always the big thing for me, right? Like, scoring TDs wasn't no big deal. I was more concerned about trying to hit people and block. Yeah. You know? But I'm getting one school, man. A.J. Suggs, he actually played against Georgia as Tennessee's quarterback a few years before this, transferred to Tech, and then lost to Georgia 
in 02 and 03. Uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Good pass, though. Yeah. Good play, man. And then actors and actresses playing cheerleaders. Oh, man, and, and David, he is cold in here, Patrick. He's got, he's got these one-liners he, he ready. He's just to, got hate, hate. Dude, he, no, no he's, got, he's got hate in his heart, man, yeah. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, Bruce nice. Bruce and Bruce. Bruce, Thornton. yeah. LaGrange, Georgia, man. Bruce with the swag. Got the little swag running out of bounds. Got the hand warmer on. I guess it was pretty cold that day, man. Yeah. Late November, yeah. But luckily, I was heavy enough with my body weight. I didn't really need a bunch of sleeves and all. You know, just <laughs> got that extra extra um, table muscle on there. All right, UGA back on offense. Big Dan at tackle right there. Oh, is this another Dave? You're a gentleman for yeah. putting all these catches Ooh. in here, bro. That's right, man. Could probably could use a little. Oh, thanks, Josh, coming in there helping out at the end. You see how soft the hands were, though, Dave. You see, that's like hitting a pillow, man. That's all it is. Coach Rick looking sharp. Got the glasses on. <laughs> Coach Bobo right there. Yeah, Man, Bobo looks young, young doesn't Bobo. he? And there's David Pollock, baby. How do you not block that guy? I know. You need to send like two of them. That might have been as easy a sack he ever made in his Listen, career. Listen, man, his production level and what he did at Georgia, the plays he made – I mean, what an unbelievable talent and such a hard worker, man. I mean, I remember John Fabris and I ran into Fab um, a year or two ago, and we were just sitting around chatting. And you talk about the way that Pollock practiced, even when he would be gets, going against the scout team and things like that, just the unbelievable flawless, flawless technique he would mm. do throughout practice, man. I mean, he would, the way he prepared himself, and then you're just like unleashing an animal on game days, man. What he used to do to some of those tackles and stuff, just – Hard to believe, man. You didn't want to see that guy out there. Yeah. Near, look at Neil Callaway right there. Looking yeah. good. Offensive coordinator, O-line coach this year. All right. So it's getting late. Georgia up by 17. A little over four minutes left. Looking to tack on more. And it's a Lumpkin. There's again, Lump. This time receiving. And Boom. Lump's looking sharp, though, man. He's got the he's got the elbow pads on. Looking good, man. Like I said, smooth, great athlete, Stevenson High School. Greeny, always cool under pressure. One of the best to ever do it, man. David Green's a phenomenal human being. This season, um, both Brock Bowers and Lad McConkey had a reception touchdown and a rushing touchdown in the same game. Craig Lumpkin does it right here as a freshman as well. Very cool, right? Big deal, man. Oh, and the McConkey kid, man, what a cool year for him. And Bowers, unbelievable athlete, right? My oh, yeah. gosh. So that was, yeah. Oh man, sadly, is that the end? That's Jeez it. Jeez Louise, man, look at that. Hugga enjoys another win. Hugga looking good. Um, um, hey. Hard fought game though, right? I mean, we made some plays and all that, but look, um, Tech had some tough guys, man. You know, so it was it was always a dog fight, man. A little clean old fashioned hate between these guys, and a lot of these guys played against each other in high school. No doubt, Ryan Schnitzer right there. He's a doctor now. Schnitz, pretty smart guy, fifty two. <laughs> Gosh, look at those graphics, though. That makes us all seem old, doesn't it? <laughs> but, Patrick, you found you found um, one more play um, in the Jeremy Thomas highlights. Oh, game. gosh, now I it's did. getting deep. I, I think did. there's only three highlight, highlights of all this, time. This has got to be one of the most unique, unusual plays in the modern era of Georgia football. Oh, man. Definitely bowl history. Look at that. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Broke a tackle. I know. <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like Franco Harris out there. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a hundred. Now we're running this back, Dave. Okay. This 2005 Outback Bowl. This is your final game. That's as, right. As a, as a Georgia final player. game, and there was a lot cooler guys who that who their final game was that day. But so we were all. Even though Pollock was a year younger, he didn't redshirt or anything, obviously. So seniors were myself, um, Fred Gibson, Reggie Brown, David Green, um, Will Thompson, David Pollock. Pretty cool class, man. Yeah, great class. A lot class. of great guys in there, and um, yeah, man. Final game. You know, it's kind of a happy moment, but kind of a sad moment. You know, but. Got a pretty cool memory from it, though. I mean, who, you know, <laughs> who thought something like this was going to happen? When yeah. you see the ball go past you, you're not, you're not thinking, oh, it's going to come back to me. I mean, what, when you saw oh, the ball bro. come back, what was going through your Listen, mind? Listen, you turn around, and all that stuff is normally moving so fast, you don't even have time to think, right? That, that's almost when it's better, right? It's just all reaction, right? It just you turn around, it's right there, and you just grab it, right? And I mean, it happens like that, uh huh. You know, but you know, snap of a you, finger, you caught it. But then you know, you had to pull. You know, you had to run by one guy. Looks like you broke at least a tackler. There two. was at least one tackle yeah, on there, yeah. Patrick. It was broken. <laughs> you saw that, yeah. right? But man, you had to fight your way to get in the end zone. No, no, so, right? and so. I mean, the feet were moving a little bit. I mean, that might have been like a five flat forty right there. Now I did get into the four eights one time, Dave. So that's that's real talk. All right, here, Granny with a good ball over there. He got it. He bounces off. Mom, look. <laughs> Look at that. A touchdown in your final game. And of course, Georgia would go on to win 
this There's, game over Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, they were a good team, man. It was a close yeah. game, though. You had Pollock. I think you had Erasmus James on defense for um, Wisconsin. They were a good squad, man. So my junior and senior year, it was Purdue in the Capital One, and then um, senior year was this game, obviously, um, Wisconsin in the Outback Bowl. So some Big Ten teams, man. Oh, broke one tackle on the other 41. Yeah, you see that, Patrick? It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny Siler likes it right there. That's that. Dr. Hancock, who did my shoulder surgery right there. Man, we're getting old, man. Whew. Georgia 34, Georgia Tech 17, the final. Uh, Georgia would go on to represent the SEC East in the uh, conference title game and then, as you mentioned, eventually play right. Purdue in the Capital One Bowl. Uh, you, you mentioned so many players, which is great. Um, do you still keep in touch with any of these guys, some of your teammates? You know, man, I wish I did better because I'm bad with the phone. So guys that are watching this, I love all of you. But um, some here or there, man. You know, um, I got a good buddy out in Texas, former walk-on, Jeff Lyons. Um, he and I were real close. Keep in touch with him. Um, you know, so see Green and Pollock and those guys every once in a while. I mean, Russ is local here in Athens. Russ Tanner doing mortgages. So bump into Russ occasionally. But, you know, and go back for Letterman things here and there. But, man, wish I did a better job. It's hard when we get old. <laughs> Speaking of, as, as we're all getting older, like, so right. what are what are you doing now, Jeremy? Well, you living around around here? Moved or? back to Athens with my good-looking girlfriend, um, who Dave knows. Um, she's pretty awesome. She works in operations for women's tennis here at Georgia. But we've been together for about five years, so finally convinced her that I had more money and coolness than I do have to move <laughs> to Georgia. So we moved here to Athens. Her name is Sarah. Love you, babe. And um, hopefully next year or two, if she'll have me, hopefully we'll get married. Well, quicker than that, or she may leave me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll get married here soon, and so my mom will leave me alone and oh, yeah. maybe have oh, some yeah. babies and all that. But so what I do to make money and pay bills is um, an insurance broker for okay. um, JP Capital Insurance and um, property and casualty, life and health insurance, a um, little bit of all that. You got to pay the bills, right? I was trying to do it with my good looks, but there's not really a lot of husky modeling jobs. <laughs> So yeah, man, just a boring insurance broker, but um, the main thing I try to do, Sarah and I have a dog named Penny, and we mainly try to make sure Penny is well taken care of. Gotcha. Go to the dog park. Super gotcha. important. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, man, we really appreciate oh, you, you coming out here. Classic City Eats in Watkinsville. Like I said, we're back here in their golf simulator room, which I highly, highly recommend, especially as now it's starting to get a little cold and whatnot outside. Um, but uh, yeah, we appreciate you coming on. Oh, man, glad to be here. and. Um, Appreciate y'all bringing back such an obscure position of the fullback and, you know, old bald people that, from the way back in the day that nobody knows, but we're thankful. So Definitely, definitely. Absolutely. Well, that's a wrap for uh, UGA Sports Rewind. We'll uh, see you next time. Bye.